Decades ago, Frankfurt became a major hub on the Great Lakes for trains and car ferries. But in 1982, they all went away. For this week's Northern Michigan in Focus, Corey Adkins explains why it happened. It was an identity, especially for Alberta. That's why they changed their name from South Frankfurt to Alberta in 1913 so that they could get recognized on the map as the terminus of the Ann Arbor Railroad. And at one point they were on the map when James Mitchell Ashley brought the Ann Arbor Railroad up to Frankfurt. This port looked very different just 40 years ago. Frankfurt yeah. was a bustling place. I mean, they had five boats going in and out and they're large boats on the Great Lakes. But and the jobs these two industries brought were fantastic. These were also just great jobs. The railroad and the car freight jobs really were blue collar and let a lot of families have things that they don't want to have available to them otherwise. Leading up to the 50s, most of these trains and car ferries were running on coal. And if you've ever been around coal, it's not so great for certain things. There was a thing with the uh, air quality. The, the families would hang out their laundry and uh, the coal, they would get soot on their clothes. So you had to see when the boats were leaving to put your laundry out. But money can change anything and it wasn't because of the soot-covered laundry. They converted the diesel just because of cost. Sources of coal changed a lot, and the Ann Arbor Railroad was susceptible to that. There were coal shortages along that period of time. Even switching everything to diesel, it didn't matter. They weren't getting enough business because the Ann Arbor Railroad wasn't really on an industrial center, so unless they were getting through traffic, they weren't going to make any money. So that when pretty much the majority of the track in the United States would go through Chicago. Uh, so when that became efficient, it just didn't make sense to go up north. Andy and the Benzie Area Historical Society will dig much deeper into the subject during a fascinating lecture in the Robinson Hall at the Frankfurt United Methodist Church in Frankfurt, Michigan. The lecture is on August 12th, Thursday, uh, the second Thursday of the month, and uh, you can just show up. We ask for a $5 donation, and it takes about one hour to go through all the slides and pictures of the car fairs. So the next time you're up by the Alberta Overlook, overlooking Frankfurt, try to imagine what this place looked like just 40 years ago. I want them to be proud of, the air, of what we did in this area and that the railroad was here. And I also want them to be aware that when it left, it wasn't anybody's fault that it left. That was something that was apparent to me when I moved up here, is that there was a lot of feelings about the car ferries leaving because one, there were good jobs, and um, it really changed the quality of life for a lot of people and it's not anybody's fault. For Northern Michigan in Focus, I'm Corey Adkins.